Uh, first of all, I, I resent your tone. Uh, I resent the sarcasm. No, no, I resent your tone, lady, okay? This was an accident. Do you understand what I'm saying? An accident. And everything that should have taken place in terms of rigging, to our, to our knowledge at this moment, did take place. It was rehearsed in the afternoon, and everything was fine. What really happened the night Owen Hart fell to his death in front of a stunned WWE audience? On May 23rd, 1999, Owen Hart tragically fell to his death during a WWE event at Kemper Arena in Kansas City. We were taking a look at some eyewitness accounts, including a fan's perspective and Jerry the King Lawler's first person account, to understand what really happened on that fateful night. This was not part of the script. This is not a wrestling angle. This is real life. Paramedics rush into the ring as pay-per-view TV cameras turn away from the show. We are not uh, going to uh, put this on television. All the TV viewers could see was the aftermath. What did the fans in attendance witness during Owen Hart's fall? A fan who attended the event with his father shared their experience from the elevated section near the entrance stage. He remembers how nearly everyone's attention was on the Titan Tron when a sudden loud thud drew his attention to the ring. He initially thought it was a dummy in blue blazer attire, but when Owen Hart tried to sit up before collapsing back down, it became clear something was horribly wrong. Jerry Lawler immediately darted to the ring, signaling for paramedics with a look of grave concern, indicating to everyone that this was not part of the show. Despite the paramedics' efforts, the fan described how the atmosphere turned grim. The show continued with a somber energy. He didn't learn of Owen's death until he got home and heard the news on the radio. The fan also remembers that despite paramedics spending a good amount of time working on Owen, his body looked lifeless with his arms hanging down when they put him on the stretcher. At the time, being only 11 years old, he found it too horrific to consider that his hero could actually die in the ring. The show continued, but there was a grim feeling in the arena with a noticeable shift in the energy. The fan and his father left during the latter part of the Austin and Undertaker match to beat the traffic. The fan's perspective highlights the immediate confusion and horror that spread through the audience as they realized the tragic nature of the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing live television, uh, a lot of uh, things can happen and, and sometimes uh, they are not good and something went terribly wrong here. Uh, certainly, uh, Owen Hart, Lou Blazer, a very serious situation here at this point in time is being attended to by the, by the, uh, the EMTs. Uh, this is not uh, a part of the uh, entertainment here tonight. What were the circumstances leading to Owen Hart's fall? On May 23rd, 1999, Owen Hart was suspended 80 feet above the ring in Kemper Arena, prepared to descend as the Blue Blazer. The rigging setup, however, was flawed. Owen was attached to a quick-release carabiner designed for sailboats, triggered by only six pounds of pressure. As Owen adjusted his cape, which was awkwardly attached to his wrist and neck, he accidentally tripped the release mechanism. Owen had walked a darkened path along the network of catwalks and spanned the roof of the building to reach his final destination, gaining entrance to his area on a rickety wooden ladder in section 221. His life was clearly hanging in the balance and trusted to a fraudulent rigging expert. Bobby Talbert heard the snap shackles release and watched in horror as Owen fell and reached a velocity of 45 miles per hour. He screamed in terror during his entire brief plunge. The arena was darkened, but not Undertaker entrance level dark. Most eyes were drawn to the Titantron and referee Jimmy Corderas, who was almost directly directly below Owen, felt the force of the 220-pound Owen smack into the ring ropes, causing a fatal injury. The fall was a tragic result of negligent safety measures and a flawed rigging setup leading to Owen's untimely death. The previous stunt coordinator had refused to use a quick-release mechanism, knowing it was too dangerous. And I'm not bitter or angry, but there will be a day of reckoning. And this is my final promise to Owen. How did Jerry Lawler react to Owen's fall? Jerry the King Lawler was one of the first responders to Owen Hart's fall. He rushed to the ring and placed his hand over Owen's mouth to check for breathing, quickly realizing how serious the situation was. When the paramedics arrived, Lawler returned to the announcer's table, visibly shaken, and informed the audience that it didn't look good. His demeanor, usually confident and composed, was replaced with deep concern and distress, making it clear that something tragic had occurred. While he was stabilized and rolled to the back, Jerry Lawler's immediate animal emotional reaction underscored the gravity of the incident and the realization among those present that Owen's condition was dire. King, I was just reiterating the fans, this is not a part of the show. Uh, we're here to entertain and have fun, but this is neither. 
No, it's, uh, it's, it doesn't look good at all. What was the aftermath of Owen Hart's fall? Despite efforts to save Owen, Owen Hart was pronounced dead at the hospital just 13 minutes after arriving, within 40 minutes of his fall. The tragic accident highlighted serious safety oversights and left a lasting impact on the wrestling community. The aftermath of Owen's fall was marked by shock, grief, and a sense of injustice over the safety failures that led to his death. Owen's face quickly turned blue. His pupils were fixated on the announcer's table, where Jerry Lawler and Jim Ross sat watching in horror. Witnesses later described how Owen's promotional video for the match was playing as he fell and continued as he lay in the ring dying. Jim Ross was the first to allude to the issue when he said, we have big problems out here. An interview, an interview conducted earlier tonight uh, with uh, Kelly and, uh, and the, uh, the Blue Blazer and uh, we got big problems out here. Owen's fall was a tragic and preventable accident that left a deep scar on the wrestling world. Through the eyes of this eyewitness and the first-hand account of Jerry Lawler, we gain an understanding of the events of that faithful night and the lasting impact it had on everyone involved. If you enjoyed this video, check out my new video on Two Cold Scorpio, who recently repeatedly stabbed a guy in a Love's gas station parking lot. You can check that out here.